Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So in this video, I will show you guys how to use your phone as a webcam for your PC. So I will show you two methods and both of the method will work on both iPhone and any Android device that you have. So let's just get into the first method. First method is by using the Irion webcam application and software so this is the official site i will put link in the description you can go here and visit this site and once you're here you can download the application onto your phone for if you have a android phone you can just click on and get it on google play or if you have iphone you can click on app store okay and uh, let's say for example uh, i have here the android phone okay and i'm just going to click on this and it will open up the google play store and you can also simply search for irene webcam on google play store and you will find this application once you find this application just install it and once you install it just click on open and it will open up the application and, and it will say waiting for the connection that's because you have to install a separate software onto your pc which will communicate with your device and then you will be able to use your phone as a webcam so now let's go, go on to our pc and uh, visit the same site again okay and uh, here you need to download the software for your pc and one of the greatest thing about this application is that it works on major operating system all major operating systems windows mac and ubuntu or linux okay so if we have a windows pc you can download the windows one if you're using a mac you can download for mac and if you're using linux you can get it for linux too so it's a great application because it supports any phone and any pc that you have so i downloaded the windows version already so because i have the windows one so you can see i have already installed it so just install it and after that open it up okay once you open this up uh, you will see that your device will automatically connect and uh, you can see that your phone's camera is active on your pc and actually you're ready to use your phone as a webcam now okay and uh, uh, in here you can actually change the resolution of the footage output okay uh, actually you can go up to 4k which is madness but i think 1080p is like okay the you know but if you want to go crazy you can go up to 4k okay that's that and i forgot to mention that you have to connect your phone to your pc using uh, usb okay just plug your usb to your pc and to your phone and yeah uh, i forgot that but it's a simple thing that you need to keep in mind so you can see the ceiling up there actually i'm using the front camera because my phone is sitting on the table and you can use back camera too whichever camera you prefer just to show you guys that it works i'm using the front camera and uh, you can see my hand and the ceiling <laughs> up there okay so now you can use this webcam uh, anywhere wherever you use the webcams you can use skype video calls or recording whatever you want to do let's say for example i want to record my face or record from my webcam uh, so i'm just gonna give you the demo here by using the obs Streamlabs OBS okay actually I already added this so let me remove this just to give you guys demo how it works okay you just need to choose a device name which is Irene webcam whenever you're using the webcam okay so I'm gonna you can see here in OBS I, I have to choose Irene webcam just click on it and hit a done and you can see I'm here the webcam is working here okay so you can use back camera or front camera as i said so this is how it works it is like simply uh, one of the best application to use your phone as a webcam yeah and one more thing i forgot to mention that you cannot minimize uh, 
this application on your phone if you minimize it will stop working okay what i mean is minimize you know you can't just simply like that minimize and it won't work okay so you have to keep this application open it won't work in background keep that in mind okay now let's get into the second method so the second method is droid cam this is originally made for uh, android only but now it is also available for iphone too so good thing but it does not support the mac so if we have an iphone and mac together you know a lot of people use uh, iphone and mac together they don't use the pc so uh, it won't be helpful but if you're using iphone and you have a windows or linux pc then you can use this okay but it will not work on mac because there is no client but it will work on iphone so that's that simply you just need to download the application so i already downloaded the application onto my android phone so once you download it just open it up okay and after that uh, onto your pc download the client uh, just like we did earlier okay i'm using the windows i'm gonna have to download the windows one but if you're using linux you have to download the linux one so once you have downloaded this just simply open up the droid cam client okay onto your pc and after that connect your phone to your pc using uh, wi-fi or a usb okay uh, usb i prefer usb because it's faster than the wi-fi and once you open it up just click on this refresh button which will scan for the devices connected devices and just wait and it will automatically uh, you know uh, detect your device so this is gm 1901 which is one plus seven phone okay just in case if you don't know <laughs> i think you don't need to know but it will uh, detect a device here it will give you the name model name here and once you're here you can choose to output video or audio both or only audio not video okay whatever you want to do so let's say for example i'm just going to choose video only video output only so i'm going to click on start and it will open up the program and actually one of the greatest thing about this application is that you can minimize this application you can use this in background and still use your phone so you don't have to uh, keep this application opened you can keep this in background and it will still work so right now it's uh, picking up the what do you call it the back camera but you can also use the front camera too okay and uh, that's that and simply just like you use other app uh, webcam you use this so let's say for example i'm gonna switch to front first close this and i'm gonna open up the droid cam again just to give you guys a demo okay uh, let me do it quickly start and now you can see the ceiling and my hand because now i'm using front camera nice <laughs> okay so simply just like you use the other webcams you know or anywhere like video chat or anything okay so i'm i'm gonna show you here in obs i'm gonna click on plus icon video capture device and add source and after that i'm gonna click on one of these droid cam source three or two one of these will work three it will work i think two also works yeah both of them works just you just need to choose the droid cam source and it will work just like that you can see my hand there okay and uh, one more thing about the droid cam here is that it will also install the another client which will say hd mode okay and uh, uh, i think i have to close this first the droid cam itself and after that open up the hd mode and here you can choose the output actually okay the resolution quality so and they also give you the warning here droid cam will consume more cpu memory battery on both computer and phone when streaming in hd mode so 
they also give you the warning so if you want to go to like it it doesn't have the 1080p or 4k option but uh, you can go up to 720p which is actually pretty good for a lot of things uh, a webcam okay it will be the the webcam versus phone if you compare them the web, phone will win okay always win even in low resolution because phone has better camera than any webcam so it depends on you but it might require a restarting a computer so if you want to use default which is uh, 480p you can use that and that's it that's how you use your phone as a webcam and hope you enjoyed this i will put a link in the description for both websites links okay you can go there whichever you prefer download them and enjoy that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and everyone bye, -bye.